Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. Please introduce yourself. I'm uh, I'm Dr. Harkri. I'm practicing urology at Jamshedpur, Jharkhand. Okay. So, why did you opt for this specialization? Please tell us about your professional journey till date. First of all, uh, my sign is water. So, I'm a partial so. So it just comes very naturally to me. That one is the reason to offer urology. And in my year, there was not much of urologist. Uh, the journey has been good. I've begun from a small place. And uh, seen many places and came back again to small place back at the end. Okay, all right. How many patients out of 10 comes to you of prosto prostate, stone, cancer and others? So all of them, very significant number I see. Oh. So all of them, prostate, cancer, stone. Of course, stone and prostate are very common. Cancer is also not uncommon. You see, all patients are for that. Oh, what are the key treatments you oversee currently? Uh, I do surgeries for prostate, uh, uh, enlarged prostate, VPH, what we call urinary problems. Uh, I do stone surgery for uh, kidney square. You repeat stoning and um, bladder stones. And then I do cancer surgery also for kidney cancer, bladder cancer. And I do a bit of uh, enrolled in the breath. We deal with uh, uh, male fertility and male sexual pain. So you can say men's health. The men's health, there are a lot of things in the female for female health, but very few things are for the men's health. So uh, men's health is coming in a big way because men is stress is working all the time. So you got no time, especially IT industry now they work from morning till evening, same place. So we are getting a lot of issues with men's infertility, men's self, men's sexual problem. So so urology is a big part. So we the main part is endo urology when you do minimally invasive studies for prostate, kidney stones, bladder tumor and was sent with men's sub. That is also clear, right? Oh, okay. So, with the advancement of technology and readily available information, has the relationship between doctor and patients altered? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good part, bad part. Good part is that they are aware now. They know how to reach. And it's very difficult. They will go to some other person non-qualified persons, unqualified person, but now they come to they find out that this is the doctor for us. But all the information which they gather from uh, social media is not correct. Sometimes they get frightened. When a small disease, they think this is a cancer. Right. So that way, uh, not good. They ask all of questions, which is good. We also feel very happy because if somebody is aware, you can take better care. Please. So I would say it's a mixed thing, it's a good thing, but I'm sure with the more use and with more exchanges and the program like this way, we need one in the matter. Okay. So how would you rate the advancement in medical science in India when compared to the West? So we are good. Say so if I, uh, I, I will say eight uh, out of ten, we are not uh, less than them, at least in year already, we are doing very well. And uh, of course, the research part, they are better. Research part is less than of 20. Treatment part, yes, we are also doing good. You mean not uniform all across the country, but yeah, major centers and keep up. So, last question How do you see the future of Indian healthcare sector? <laughs> Indian healthcare sector, I see, will be very flooded, flooded with doctors, flooded with the pharmaceutical industry, is, uh, manufacturers of the instruments, and um, how to the, see it will be too many people will be there. So there is, but as the population is also good, so I see that the good will survive. People have work, or people have to work hard. So people have to work hard. People have Prove them, so that should gain. I see for a good opportunity if somebody is dedicated, good opportunity. Oh, and uh, uh, each teacher and doctor can find 
so oh, okay great thank you so much for coming and sharing all the information with us it was great having you